your brain has one mission, one objective, and that is to keep you safe. That's all it wants to do, is keep you safe. You know what the unfortunate part of that, because it sounds nice, keep me safe, nice, warm, comfortable, safe, right? Who would have a problem with that? Anyone that's ever tried to grow would have a problem with that. Anyone that's ever tried to create a commitment to evolve or change in their lives has run into a problem with that because your brain's definition of safe is predictable. That's safe. That's why comfort zones are not so comfortable. <laughs> because they're predictable, but they're not necessarily comfortable. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to understand is that we're, we've got a little bit deeper battle than just making a decision, taking the action and it happens. We've got some biology we're fighting here. So give yourself some credit because the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you make any more big commitments is connect with the humanity of your commitments. Connect with the fact that as Einstein said, the same mindset that created the problem cannot be the mindset that solves the problem, that there are gonna be some counterintuitive elements to your journey. There are going to be some natural frustrations to growth. Because your brain's goal, as it's here, it's status quo. Here's its mediocrity is what it's oftentimes referred to. Status quo, there's where you wanna to get to and you start going towards it and the tension on that elastic starts getting tighter and tighter and tighter and we hang on and then eventually we're so exhausted because of how stretched out it is, it throws us back into mediocrity, if not a few steps behind it. He said my perfectionist, perfectionist self was beating up um, my real being and it just wasn't a fair fight. I just had to stop. Because <laughs> there's just things I'd done and I was just so disappointed. And without an appreciation for your humanity, this will be the most frustrating, oscillating, back and forth journey of your life. And as a natural progression of the fact that you're still breathing is gonna be the maximum reward versus creating your dreams and getting results. What I recouped in my relationship with my wife and what I changed just from the one or two calls that that money was already recouped. So now everything else is gravy, and then I have another 50 or 60 years of work to make, you know, make that even more profitable. How many of you have ever gone to bed feeling awesome and you woke up the next morning and it just didn't feel awesome anymore? And you had no logical explanation for why. That's our humanity we can never lose a connection to. Because the natural response is to go, no, oh, that sucks. Why do I have to feel this way? And then we pour even more energy into the hole that is naturally dug from our humanity. Let's stop doing this as part of our decision. As much as we wish we could get rid of the, the humanity that we've got, the feelings that hold us back, if we embrace that, that's our battlefield, rather than continually being blindsided by it, imagine how much more prepared you're gonna be to actually do the work rather than be frustrated with the circumstances. And yes, there is work involved, but before it was always um, the fear and the doubt and everything stopping and just reality of life. Like you can't do this because of this. I think with this, there is nothing in our way, but our own mindset if we let it, you know? And what excites me about that is I feel this freedom and this awakening of who I am and who I'm supposed to be. And now I get to share that with my kids. And I think that excites me more than anything because we get to bring new life to them yes. and to the possibilities for their future and for our family and our business. And that just excites me because I just feel like there's this abundance that we are walking toward. Yes. And I'm so excited. Now that we understand our humanity, we know that this action is not gonna flow as smoothly as we saw it up here. We know that our commitment to wake up every morning and go to the gym is not gonna feel as awesome as it did on Monday when we try to do it again on Tuesday, slip up on it on Wednesday. We can never start going to the gym on Thursday, so we have to wait until Monday to start doing it again. Now we're prepared for the humanity of it. Now we are prepared to let go of the fact that Monday has no magical power. That frustration and feelings of disappointment as we're stretching this band is part of the game. And we start using it, we start owning it, we start embracing it, and that dictates our action. And for our family, and I'm just so grateful 
to your organization. So anyone who is on the fence and not sure if they can afford to do this or not do this, you can you can't afford not to. You know, this for me has really planted my feet firmly and will help me grow for the long haul. And that is uh, truly invaluable. I'm, I'm grateful, you know, personally to have made the investment. I can't believe how much since March when I wrote this has changed in my life for the better and I was almost emotional a little bit almost getting teary-eyed before I got on the call with you because I'm like oh my gosh these things that I wanted changed they've already happened and in this entire time that I've been coaching performance my performance is um, I I haven't measured it this month but last month it was three times greater than I started three months ago. And and those were real numbers for me because I I needed to know that this was something that was working. And this this was something that was going to help me change my family's life. And it's been it's been phenomenal. So if you're watching this and you're you're still on the fence about whether or not you want to work with one of the coaches, I highly recommend it. They're all just spectacular human beings. It's a privilege and an honor to work with a master. Mm. Thank you. Be committed and watch it change your life exponentially when you understand the beauty of your humanity in this process so that when that movement does happen, you appreciate it.